No! Y'all really do come for me. La Mayor! Uh-uh. Y'all chose extreme chaos with this video. Question of the day, did we like it or was it just popular? Y'all gonna find out on today's video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jackie Ina and I'll be posting videos like, I don't know, two times a week. You should just, you should just come, you should just, you should just watch cause I'm pretty, like ain't that enough? No. If you have not joined the Jackie Ina family and subscribed, I'ma need you to take a long, hard look at some of the decisions you've made in your life. Hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you keep being notified of new uploads. Today's candle, tonight's I should say, is from my brand Forever Mood. Cheers, clink, clink. This is butterfly effect. It's got notes of rose, violet, sandalwood, so it's a little bit of a creamier, I would say bolder rose scent. All right, guys, y'all know the drill. We ask and I pretty much answer. Speaking of skincare, what better way to do this while removing my makeup? By the way, guys, make sure you stay all the way to the end because I have a little special surprise. Please don't rip off your lashes, y'all. What I like to do is I have a towel underneath. I wouldn't normally ah! soak your Q-tip, applying your lash line just to loosen up the glue. Did we like it or was it popular? Tatcha water cream. Oh my God. You know what? You're, you're, you're asking to get dragged. Tatcha water cream? Heals nations. Tatcha water cream? No, no, don't do this. Don't, 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 don't do this. Not only did we love Tatcha water cream, but I feel like Tatcha in general, like the brand, is probably one of the few skincare brands that I could think of that puts innovation, technology, quality skincare ingredients into their products continuously. I don't feel like I get fads, trends. There's just some skincare brands that it's like, girl, we did not ask, we did not ask for this. No, we loved Tatcha Water Cream. I love all of their products in general. 24 karat gold mask. So are you talking about the sheet mask or are you talking about the liquid one like the Peter Thomas Roth? Cause, oh. That's a good damn mask. In fact, let me put that in my Sephora shopping cart right now because I forgot about that damn mask and I actually really, I really like that mask. <laughs> I'm about to reorder it right now. Is it still? Okay, I got scared for a second because I haven't seen it in Sephora for a while. I just added it to my cart. So she didn't specify whether or not she was talking about the liquid version of this 24 karat gold mask because this 24, it was like rose gold, 24 karat gold. I don't know if y'all remember that. It was just like gold, 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 gold was an everything. It was kind of weird for a while. What difference is it gonna make for me in my life? I think 24 seven gold masks were just popular. I, I'm, I'm just gonna say it, I'm just gonna say it. Now, while I talk more crap, I'm gonna remove my makeup. I always remove my makeup with an oil cleanser. This is great for those of you guys that have oily combination skin like I do. <sighs> Who gonna piss me off next? Thoughts on Drunk Elephant? Great question. Drunk Elephant, to me, I'm just right off the bat, I'm just gonna say it was popular. I think they have good products, but girl, the price... <sighs> Let me just not. I don't know why I'm talking about Drunk Elephant. Like I don't use Dermalogica and they be expensive as hell too. I feel like Drunk Elephant really does get away with branding more than it does good quality products. And I'm not saying, I'm, I'm, hear me out. I'm not saying their products aren't good at all. I think they do have great products because obviously they've been around for some time now. And people who use Drunk Elephant really do like their products. So I'm not denying at all the efficacy and the efficiency of their products, but I feel like they do sometimes try it a little bit. You know, like at least with derm like brands like Dermalogica, for example, at least I know like I'm getting innovation, I'm getting like real transformative results. I just don't know if Dermalogica does that for me, but I do think they have good quality products. So you know what? I'm gonna say it's both. I think we liked it and it is just popular. Nah, it's the way y'all are name dropping Tatcha a little too much for me. Keep Tatcha out of your mouth, okay? Face oils, not while I'm literally using an oil cleanser. Excuse me? Nah, you need face oil. Like some of y'all need to be drinking oil. In fact, no, please don't do that. I'm just playing. Please put the coconut oil down. Nah, you 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 definitely, I, I, fa huh? Facial oil has been around since like, Probably like the Egyptians, man. Probably longer. We like it. We love it. We're dying for it. Mario Badescu Rosewater. Okay, y'all already know how I feel about the entire brand of Mario Badescu. Mario Badescu definitely gives branding. It gives stuff that just looks good on your bathroom counter. I just don't really care for their products at all. 
was popular. I'm sorry, but she was. Fresh rose toner. Let's take this outside now. The fresh rose toner put Biden in office. It did. Like, I'm sorry. I don't know what y'all want me to tell you. <laughs> it changed my life. You know what? And not just the toner, the entire rose line from Fresh is actually one of my favorites. So I'm just going to say that we liked it and it was popular, but it's still a staple product of mine. In fact, I'm going to be, I have a, I don't want to pick it up because I don't want to get oil and stuff all on it. <laughs> I'm going to use it tonight. It's still a staple of mine, both the liquid version and the spray bottle version. I'll have you know. So I'm going to say we liked it. And it was, it was also popular. Oh, if you've never experienced a hot washcloth after oil cleansing, girl, you just, I'm sorry, you just haven't lived. Pixie Glow Tonic? Y'all chose extreme chaos with this video. Okay, Pixie Glow Tonic, let me tell y'all something that Pixie is doing that the other girls aren't. Pixie knows their lane. They know that they're not about to give you 90, 60 to $90 skincare products. They have products with retinol, vitamin Cs, they have acids, they have retinol. I mean, not a lot of products are doing that. And the Pixie Glow Tonic specifically is almost always on estheticians that I follow and that I admire, like on their list of top recommended products. And I think that says a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and say, baby, Pixie Glow Tonic is a cultural reset. I think we loved it. I'm removing excess product with some micellar cleansing water. Anything from Glam Glow, oof, tough crowd. <laughs> so Glam Glow used to actually be one of my favorite skincare brands and I still really like their stuff. But then I came to realize their stuff is actually quite harsh. I've just really transformed the way that I treat my skin. I don't use as harsh of products on my skin anymore. And I've come to realize that Glam Glow is just, it's just a lot for your girl. So I do still think they have great and actual transformative products. In fact, I think they make some of the best masks, but I do think a lot of it was really good marketing. So I don't know, like, should it be both? I'm just gonna say it's both. <laughs> You know what? I need to draw a line on the sand. I can't be playing both sides. We need more polarizing products. Oh no, don't do this. Sunday Riley, don't. You know what? This is where I draw the line. And the cat did. Sunday Riley actually has really good products, good jeans. I don't know what that retinol oil serum situation, but honestly, <clears throat> it's really good. Sunday Riley has good products if you want something that actually freaking works. Sunday Riley, in my opinion, is one of the retail skincare brands that actually does some of what it says it does. So I'm gonna say we liked it. You know what I also love? I love washing my face. Some of y'all can't relate. Dang, let me not be shady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use these special cleansing gel from Dermalogica, but I need to go wet it, so I'll be right back. Y'all, so I was washing my face on a TikTok video and somebody had commented, oh, you actually put soap on your lids? As opposed to what? How, how else would I clean my eye? Oh, I'm confused. Micellar water. Nor, 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 just nor. Micellar cleansing water is here to stay. Didn't they invent micellar cleansing water for like people backstage and stuff who like needed to quickly get in and out of their makeup? I mean, to me, it's better than makeup wipes. I love micellar cleansing water. And in fact, I feel like it's one of the few skincare items that you don't really have to splurge on. Like you can use Caudalie version all the way down to a Garnier. So we like it. Oof, I hate talking about the ordinary. Ordinary got shooters, cause every single time I drag the ordinary, y'all really do come for me. Look, it didn't work for me for various different reasons, so don't get in the comments showing your you know what's, trying to tell me that I don't know how to use products because I absolutely do. You were talking to a licensed cosmetologist, thank you. But I, it doesn't work for me, but I actually know quite a few estheticians that really do like their products, so I would say we like it. I really don't think it's just popular. I think they have great solutions for people who want to get into skincare but don't want to spend a lot of money on products that actually do stuff. See, what y'all need to stop doing is stop ignoring the corners of your nose. I see that buildup. I see the buildup of product. Yup, and your hairline. Clarisonic, Oh, All right, well, you know what? Clarisonic, shout out to them. Rest in peace, Clarisonic. Didn't they go out of business like three, within the last like two, three years? I feel kind of indifferent to this because while I do feel that spin brushes for cleansing the face are great, I think they were great, I do. And I, I was a huge Clarisonic stand for quite some time. I don't really 
don't think you're, they're like, as long as you're double cleansing, you don't really need a spin brush, but do I think they're kind of a nice splurgy item to have? Sure, why not? I'm <laughs> I'm gonna say they were just popular. <laughs> I don't think you need a spin brush. But were they good splurge items? Absolutely, I mean, they feel great. They feel great and I think they're great for people who maybe just don't feel like double, triple cleansing like I do, cause girl, it takes me like 10 minutes just to remove my makeup. <laughs> oh, this was so good. I just like doing this with a washcloth because it just feels so thorough. Oh. Oh, God bless ya. La Mer! Oh my God. I feel like I hear such jarring opinions about La Mer. People either love La Mer or people are like, you don't need La Mer at all. I'm indifferent. I, I can't tell you whether we like it or whether it's just popular. But what I can tell you is La Mer's not going anywhere, girl, because La Mer has shooters. People who love La Mer swear and ride by this brand. One thing I love about Special Cleansing Gel, since we're, since we're talking about skincare, is the fact that like it foams so much. It's kind of nice. Like I really feel like I get a deep, thorough, without stripping clean. On Sundays, we exfoliate. So I'm gonna be using my Daily Microfoliant, also from Dermalogica, not a sponsored video. Girl, I really just, I really just am a Dermalogica stan. Now this is no shade to Miss Girl, but I know Y'all know Kylie's skin was just popular. Y'all know that, right? I mean, hats off to her, girl. Go ahead and get your coin, but nah. Maybe y'all can comment down below and let me know if I'm wrong, but like, I don't really feel like her brand, at least not now, I don't really feel like her brand has any staple stand out, die hard, cult-like favorite stand worthy products. I'm just not seeing it for her. And I'm not gonna lie, I can't help but feel like Kylie's skin was a little cash grabby because you know, we all found out Fenty was giving skin and I feel like the girls were scrambling to keep, I genuinely feel like a lot of people were scrambling to keep up after they realized Fenty was doing skin too. I don't know, that's just my take. You don't gotta agree, but I feel like Kylie's skin was just popular. <laughs> and barely that, because like I said, I don't really hear anybody talking about it. Yikes. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for freeing my people from the shackles that were charcoal masks. Ah! What the f peel off masks, the sheet masks, everything had charcoal, charcoal toothpaste, charcoal fried chicken. It was too much. I mean, I'm sure there's great benefits to it, but I, I just feel like the peel off mask phase, and I contributed, yes, I, I, I definitely was a willing participant in a lot of ways, but I feel like charcoal, maybe it's not making as many points as we, we, we really hoped and dreamed that it would. I felt like they were just popular. <laughs> the best part about a makeup day, taking it off. <laughs> Tatcha doing skin mist? I told you, I'm not saying it again. Keep Tatcha's name out your mouth, okay? And we won't have no issues. It's a super hydrating serum in a spray bottle form. It's actually, in my opinion, like one of their best products, especially if you have super thirsty dry skin. We loved it. And I don't wanna hear nothing else about Tatcha. It's quiet, no back talk. Keep Tatcha's name out your mouth. Stop killing me! So now, y'all got a problem with the Tatcha rice wash? No! Ooh, y'all like shaking the table. Jade Rose Quartz Rollers. So, I mean, we do like them, but they're also popular. But do we like them because they're popular or are they popular because we like them? I definitely feel like what makes a product popular or are we gonna be talking about it in the next five years? I don't know if I see it for Jade and Rose Quartz, like the facial rollers, but I do think they're actually useful products. So yeah, they're popular, but they're still useful products. I don't know if y'all, y'all get what I mean, right? I feel like there's a very small demographic that that product really caters to and the majority of people in three, two to three years probably just won't care enough to keep using them. <laughs> Notice how nobody's saying, is water just popular? But some of y'all are not getting enough of it. I can see it in your knuckles, okay? Why aren't you drinking water? SK2 Essence? No! <laughs> and I'm using it today, so stop it. We love it. Thank you. I told y'all I was gonna be using my rose facial toner. This is the spray bottle one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Summer Fridays butter lip balm? <laughs> Stop, I don't, I don't wanna hear it. Don't wanna hear it anymore. Stop! No, that's actually one of my favorite Summer Fridays products. What do you mean? Have you tried it? It's 
exactly. You probably haven't. Okay, so it's time for serums. We've already done all of our cleansing, which took about 45 minutes. And I'm gonna hydrate with the Pharmacy Feeling Good. I'm almost done with this. This is a really, really good hyaluronic serum. It's on the thicker side, it's on the creamier side. It stinks! Aside from that, it just has like this really pharmaceutical, not pharmaceutical, it just smells like honey. Like, you know how some, you know how some natural ingredients just stink? This kind of stinks. Oh God. But I'm almost on my second bottle. So must be doing something right. Oh. Ooh, y'all coming for Neutrogena's neck today. Neutrogena Hydro Boost. If you spent any of your hard-earned tax dollars on anything from Neutrogena, it should be the Hydro Boost line. That to me is their like the best of. If Neutrogena had a Hollywood star, if Neutrogena was inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it would be for their Hydro Boost line. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, actually. Nah, that stuff is amazing. The SPF is good. The hyaluronic acid serum is good. The moisturizers are good. We love it. I was supposed to apply my Arnica. Because I exfoliated, I like to use an Arnica serum because Arnica is great. It's almost like a great healing and calming. So this has Arnica and cucumber. It's from my esthetician guidance to glow. Cheers. Sheet masks. You know what? I could see why the girls would think sheet masks were just popular, but I don't think they're just popular simply because the girls in K-Beauty knew what time it was with sheet masks years ago. As usual, we were late on the game. We were late on the trend. But I think that sheet masks are great for like extra penetration, especially of like hydrating products. So I think we like it. And dare I say, I think sheet masks are still, in my opinion, one of my staple skincare products. You can use them every day. There's so many different variations of sheet masks. There's clarifying, there's exfoliating, there's hydrating, there's soothing, there's calming. I mean, saying that sheet masks are just a fad is almost the same as like saying serums are just a fad. It's just a serum in paper form, which makes the product penetrate a lot better. I think they're here to stay, baby. Sheet masks ain't going nowhere. Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner, oof. <laughs> that feels like a drag. Like that actually brings back PTSD. The thing with Witch Hazel is it's a quite polarizing conversation. Most skincare professionals will tell you Witch Hazel is just not it for the skin. The Witch Hazel Gang appeals to like a very specific demographic of people who think they're using natural, but natural doesn't always mean better, y'all. It just doesn't. I'm gonna use the Sugar Lip Wonder Drops from Fresh. This is a lip exfoliant, because if some of y'all got dry cracked lips like me, then you could benefit from some of this. Witch Hazel Girl, you tried it. She was definitely just popular. <laughs> Laneige Slip Sleeping Mask? No, nor, nor. <laughs> nah, nah, the lips, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask is luxurious, decadent, incredible, pillowy, soft, kissable, flexible. Girl, I'm not seeing it for you. Whatever point you thought you were trying to prove, you thought I was gonna drag them, didn't you? You're wrong. I think it's a great product and I think we liked it. Glow Recipes Watermelon Mask. Wow, mom, don't have a cow, mom. No, like just no, no, I said no. I'm gonna use my Power Bright Dark Spot Serum from Dermalogica. It's basically like a niacinamide. I like the watermelon mask. I like the entire watermelon line. It is, in my opinion, one of their transformative lines. When I say transformative, y'all, what I mean by that is like I'm seeing results. I I think we like it. I think we like it because it actually does something. I'm showing y'all that I'm drinking water because if you don't think drinking water is a part of your skincare routine, you are massively wrong. For my eye cream, I'm gonna use this Kate Summerfield eye cream. Clinique skincare. Ooh, you trying to get my channel deactivated, aren't you? Clinique skincare, their take the day off balm, that alone is enough to carry Clinique to the Grammys. They actually do have good skincare products. To me, the cleansing balm and their cleansers, I would say my real like staple money splurging worthy products from Clinique. The whole line in the entire, I don't think you need the whole 10 step. You know how they have like the whole steps and you use the, the full line in its entirety. They've got some great serums, they do. They have great cleansers, but I mean, I think we like it. I think, yeah, I think Clinique's here to stay. I just don't necessarily think you need to use all of it in order to get good results. But that's just where we are in skincare. We don't need to be the Estee Lauder skincare girl. Our grandmothers, when they were like a Lancome girl, they were a Lancome girl through and through. They did not deviate, they did not mix and match. And I feel like Clinique appeals to that audience and that's why it's such a big, huge, vast line of products. But we don't do that anymore, that's dead. We like using a little bit of here, a little bit of there. We like mixing and matching. Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. Well, I got a 
hell. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off with my Belief sleeping mask. I love this. I love a good sleeping mask in general, especially when my skin's feeling a little thirsty. And I always use a heavier cream on the days that I exfoliate because your skin is gonna need the moisture, child. And if you think you're gonna miss out on any moisture with the sleeping mask, you wrong. Cetaphil. Cetaphil is dermatologist recommended. I guess we like it. There's literally, someone is literally holding a pistol behind me, forcing me to say this. Wow, <laughs> you guys don't like anything. <laughs> Tough crowd. Noxzema was definitely popular. And yes, <laughs> you are showing your age, child, because those who know, like if you know, you know. Noxzema was just speaking the language, the prepubescent, acne prone, the growth that was just going through it at 14, knowing damn well ain't no product gonna clear it up because it's probably just hormonal. <laughs> Okay, I know I said I was gonna finish with my sleeping mask, but I lied. I'm gonna finish off with a facial spray. I love, 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 love the Vitamin Nectar Water. I've been using this product for years. It's from Fresh, it's amazing. Give it a good shake. pat it into my skin. I go to bed really, really shiny so that I can wake up normal and oil balanced. Super goop. Okay, this is a first. The girls are not really talking about super goop, but I'm surprised because I feel like super goop is so, so popular right now. Okay, so I cannot speak personally for myself because I haven't jumped on the super goop wave, but I actually do feel like they have good products because their SPFs are the one brand that like, every, between Black Girl Sunscreen and super goop, everybody's talking about their SPFs. So I'm gonna say we like super goop because it seems like they must be doing something right because people won't shut up about them. So of course we have to moisturize our lips and I'm gonna use the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask. I just really like the way that this makes my lips feel. Foaming bubble masks? If you ever thought those were actually skincare staples, I'm calling the police on you. If you at any point thought foaming bubble masks were an actual helpful skincare staple, you deserve jail time. I hope you like prison food. In fact, you deserve your college degree being revoked. No strips, my people, free yourselves from the shackles that are no strips. They don't do anything. In fact, they can actually ruin your skin. They're terrible. We didn't even like them. We just used them because we didn't know no damn better. No, no strips are not good. Every esthetician will tell you, please don't use those. Please don't use those. All right, y'all, well that's the end of my skincare routine in, in my video. Don't I look good? Yes, I do. I hope y'all enjoyed getting unready with me on today's video. And if you made it to the end, congratulations. Not only are you a writer, but now you also get to know what today's surprise is for the video. If you made it all the way to the end, you can enter to win 500 cold, hard US dollars. Clink, 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 clink. All you have to do is literally leave a comment. You can leave a comment about some of the products that we talked about in today's video. You, you can leave a comment telling me how beautiful I look. You can tell me how ugly I look. Actually, don't do that because you're gonna get blocked. But you just need to leave a comment and then leave your cash app at the end. I will pick a winner. Now you cannot just leave your cash app. If you just leave your cash app, I'm just gonna delete it because that's not how you enter. You have to leave a comment, an actual, real, authentic, genuine comment and your cash app and that's it. Perfume of the evening. Yes, I do wear perfume to bed every single night. I wear perfume to bed. Sweet Diamond by Kayali. This is the newest launch and it's actually one of my favorites. It smells so good. Mm, yes, honey, yes. Well, I'm going to bed, but you're not going to bed. You about to watch another video because I'm gonna leave it right here while you enjoy my dewy, glowing skin. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.